Hey, this is Heather with Yellow Ribbon Knits, and I'm just going over how to do the decreases um, in the two-color brioche pattern, hat pattern that I've got out now. Um, something to note, um, when it says yarn front slip two, uh, this is what that ends up looking like right here. So on the previous um, row, when I slipped these two together, I just allowed one yarn over for each one. So that's the secret to doing the um, slip two, or there's a place where it says slip three, um, and do that um, yarn in front, slip three, yarn over. Um, this is what it ends up looking like right here. And when we come back to it now, we need to do another decrease uh, with our main yarn. And in this case, it's super easy because they're lined up just the way we need them. We can literally just knit two together and that yarn over is gonna fall to the back of those two stitches. Super easy, a little more complicated when we get to the slip slip knit decrease. And here's this one right here. So these two stitches are not sitting the correct way. We've got to reseat them before we can knit those two together. If we slip this first stitch off and let that yarn over come off the needle when we do it, then when we go to slip the next one, if we knit those two together, see how that just gets all muddled together? It's not going to look very nice at all. I'm going to put these back the way they were when I found them. Now, if we go and we do our slip of our first stitch oops and keep that yarn over on our needle here and then do the second slip of our next stitch working with mohair on this example might not have been the best idea but regardless um, now we've got these two stitches ready to be knit together and when we do that that yarn is just going to fall nicely to the back it's not getting all entangled in those two stitches that are trying to decrease pretty. And then we'll just continue on across. And there's one more place right up here. I can show you those two decreases again here. So I'm just barking, yarn to the front, slip one with a yarn over all the way across. Until I get, here it is, here's that area where we've got two stitches together that need to be decreased together. This is a knit two together, so I don't have to do anything special with that yarn over on top. I just literally knit them together and it falls beautifully. It's the next one that is that slip slips knit that is a little more tricky. So I'll show you that one more time. All right. Here we are, these need to be decreased left leaning, so we need to reseat. And I'm gonna leave that yarn over on top of that needle until I am done doing the decrease, and then I'll let it off. And that way, the decrease is nice and clean, and the yarn just falls behind, right behind that stitch that I just created. There's one place in the pattern where we need to do a um, central, double decrease. Same thing applies. Make sure that you leave your yarn over on your needle while you're doing your decrease and it's not until you're actually taking what you've decreased off that you let that yarn over come off and then it'll be nice and clean for you.